everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I'm reviewing a new cigar from Protocol. This is the Lancero version of their cigars. As you remember or probably know, they came out in 2015 with two different sizes. This was added last year, 7.5 by 38 Lancero. And it's a new line extension for the Kubarakano Cigar Company. I hope I'm saying that right, Juan. Uh, which is comprised of Juan Council and Bill Ives. Uh, this cigar is made in the La Zona factory in Esteli. It uses an Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and Nicaraguan filler. Incidentally, the name of the company, Cabaracano, if I'm saying that correctly, pays homage to Ives' Cuban heritage and, and uh, Council's uh, Puerto Rican uh, heritage. Now, incidentally, uh, I will be reviewing another cigar that they've come out with here recently, Probable Calls. Uh, it's available in two sizes. Getting a little ahead of myself, that'll be coming up in the weeks to come. But uh, for today, let's look at the Protocol Lancero. It does look just like a pencil. But it has a nice shiny wrapper. If you notice, there's a little oiliness to that wrapper, which is always good. Now, cutting this should not be a big deal. I just want to get as little as possible still. Wow, that's a good draw, and it doesn't feel light as far as, you know, loosely packed. That's going to work just fine. <laughs> The first flavor is, the first thing you're probably going to notice is black pepper at about an eight and a half or nine. My sinus is from retro hailing or cleaned out right now. It is a great, massive amount of black pepper. Now, as far as your other flavors, <laughs> there's a nice orange apricot mix. Really cool. Uh, brown sugar, cinnamon. And right about the time you notice those great sweet flavors, the black pepper, which just goes on forever, is, is, is slapping at your palate again. It's quite early, but uh, the black pepper on the finish is just as amazing. It is lingering. It is tingling. It is nice. The flavor is sort of a, a very thick cream. Almost a vanilla, a vanilla cream, vanilla, sorry, Southern coming out, a vanilla cream with massive amounts of lingering black pepper on the finish. So that's how you start. Can't get much better than that, but I'm hoping it does selfishly. So let's see where we go from here. Well, we're rapidly moving along here. This is a Lancero, remember? And here we are at, well, at or just past the midpoint. Now, because of film editing and what have you, the cigar is burning <laughs> right along while I'm working on this video. At about the one inch point, there was an introduction of nice sweet caramel. I neglected to say with all the sweet flavors in the beginning, uh, description that there is a nice coffee base so that there is a it's it's going away from the apricot so much of a flavor to just an orange citrus heavy brown sugar heavy caramel and um, cinnamon 
the pepper remains very good in the cigar. It is, folks, very close, and it and it and it because I couldn't come back between editing and what have you. At about the inch and a half point, it started to really feel full bodied. So it is full bodied from about the one, just after the one inch point onward. You can tell it's a powerhouse. I asked Juan about this uh, this week. And I said, Juan, I heard this Lancero had a different blend. He said, no, it's the same blend. But because of the diameter, you had to adjust things. So uh, the Lahiro is in there, but it's not huge pieces. It's more or less uh, uh, thin sheets, if you will. But uh, it's in there, folks. It's in there, and it's nice. So aside from that, the uh, caramel introduction, which is nice, gives it a nice smooth. It's, it's sort of, the caramel sort of runs through the middle of all the flavors. You can you can just it's just sort of there in the middle, acting as the glue, and it's a nice glue if you want to call it that. But it's a very tasty cigar, full body, burning evenly. I mean, we're at about 30 minutes on this, and that's probably about appropriate. So uh, at the rate we're going, I'll be back to wrap it up here shortly, but it is, in a word, great. It's, it, the flavors are just fantastic together, and the fact that it's now full-bodied, I mean, it's, it's going to appeal to a lot of people. <laughs> Well, we're down to the end. So let's wrap it up. Just shy of an hour. Not bad for Lancero. The brown sugar, the brown sugar and cinnamon really came out here in the end. The citrus was there. Mixing well. Caramel made it nice and smooth and, you know, sort of uh, creamy, almost buttery coffee base. Pepper was excellent in this cigar. Excellent in this cigar. Finish is unchanged. Finish didn't change throughout. Pepper, lingering pepper was great. This was a very good cigar. Juan can be extremely proud of this cigar, and I'm sure he is. Uh, Eric Espinosa and the Lazona factory did him a wonderful job. The fact that it's full body just caps it off as, as being excellent. For me, it's a 95. Best cigar I've had all year so far, and there have been some really good ones. Look back at those 94s. This was just a tick better because it had just about everything. I mean, it was just about perfect. There's nothing else I can say about it. It is a great cigar that you must try. <clears throat> and I'm so glad I had the chance to have it because it was great. So there you have it. The Protocol Lancero 95. Excellent cigar. <laughs>